Hi, my name's John and welcome to Ask John D. Jones, a YouTube channel tailored for software developers. So it's just a place where you can ask questions about CMS, um, career goals, or just life in general. So today's question has been asked by a guy called Federico Orlando. I hope I'm saying your name right. I'm really rough with Spanish. His question is a great question. It's basically, have you got any experience with .NET Core? Now, this is a great sort of question and it's one that I actually tried to research about a year ago. Um, a year ago I had a look and the answer was pretty bad news, there wasn't really anything around. So um, I've done some recent research and I'll uh, update you guys on that. So at the moment there isn't really any great .NET Core CMS platforms. There's three sort of in progress contenders and out of those contenders I'd say the Orchard CMS is the best one. So looking on Orchard's roadmap, I think they're in their second beta now and I think that just came in around a few days ago, or a few weeks ago. If you look at their roadmap, I think they're planning on being finished by sort of June, July time, August time. So we're talking you know, a good five or six months time until there's actually a finished product. Now obviously if you start working or building your website in a beta, I've done this before, you're probably asking for a lot of questions. On one project I spent about three or four months working on a promotions engine and the promotions engine was in beta and by the time they released the product they changed it loads and it took us another one or two months to actually rewrite everything. So I think if you really just want to learn a bit of .NET Core or you want to get a bit of experience in CMS and this sort of thing introduce you as a hobby and it's just you know something to do while you're watching TV or a bit of Netflix at the end of the day, have a play with Orchard. I think it's like a, probably a good option for you. On the other hand, if you're looking at this for a career sort of move and you want to you know, get some money out of it, potentially get some freelance work, um, one thing I'd say about Orchard, which I did myself, is I went onto LinkedIn, typed in Orchard CMS, and I think about 15 results sort of got replied. Now, if I go on to LinkedIn and say Sitecore, there's something like 100,000 results or something stupid like that. Same as Umbreco, same as EpiServer. So when it comes to commercial things, I, tem I tend to advise people and I do it myself as I won't bother learning things unless I can find someone who's willing to pay for me. It's a, a little easy tip, but I suggest you follow it at home. So there are a few other sort of .NET Core things in the pipeline. Again, they're even smaller than Orchard and they're sort of up and coming. These are all in beaters and again, they don't, none of them really look like they're gonna be around for the next sort of three to six months. So sad news, really, .NET Core wise. I think if you're just looking to learn a new technology and you want to learn like some bleeding edge sort of stuff, potentially look at a different CMS, um, you know, a different language altogether. Because, I mean, one of the problems with .NET Core and CMS is it takes a long time to build it. .NET Core is such a fundamental change that it's just not going to be an easy thing. So that will all sort of, this sort of leads me on to the second point of what about the big players like your site cores, EpiServer and Bracos, where are they and when they're going to be releasing um, their versions of .NET Core. So I'll first start off with EpiServer. Um, this week I've actually got an internal beta from EpiServer to use their new headless uh, CMS API. So the headless CMS is obviously, they give you a uh, API you can then write an Ajax HTML based website and then you can get all your information from your headless API. So on your website all you need to do is really write a bit of HTML and a bit of JavaScript so it's more of your single application sort of page type scenarios. Um, again it's an internal beta judging by the speed of you know how EpiServer releases the products from these betas to real life. Again you're talking six months to a year and when it's being released, it's, dot, it's not going to be a .NET Core thing, it's going to be more a JavaScript based thing. Um, I completely understand why EpiServer are going this route. EpiServer have been around for 10 years, they've obviously got a CMS platform, um, some of it's still written in web forms. They've got a commerce platform, again this is all written in like normal .NET. So their problem is, if they were going to start ground up, it would literally take them years and years just to get to where they are at the moment and by that stage they'll have lost their competitive advantage. So I think EpiServer, it's not going to be anytime soon. It's going to be, you're always going to have a core application. Maybe in you know, a few years time, it will be .NET Core, but nothing for the foreseeable future. Next, let's move on to Umbraco. Looking at the uh, Umbraco roadmap, at the moment 7.7 has just come out, which I've installed on my website today, which I highly recommend. Looks cool, works well. Looking on the Umbraco roadmap, um, Umbraco 8 is 30% complete and there's no mention of .NET Core whatsoever. 
So realistically, if you want to use a .NET Core, I think you're going to be talking version 9, potentially version 10, and that could be a good year, year and a half away. I mean, who knows? It's all finger in the air. Sidecore, exactly the same. They've got the experience editor, they've got their metrics, they built a whole suite of products, and it's all quite sort of tightly ingrained within one big sort of application. They've got exactly the same problem as everyone else. If they want to start going .NET Core, it does involve they're going to have to completely rewrite everything from scratch. And again, it's going to take a long time. So the sad news is that if you want to start learning .NET um, Core today, there isn't really anything, and I wouldn't say there's anything really on the horizon which you can use straight away. So the sad news is, is pff, there isn't probably that much, and it's just a hope of. If you want to learn .NET Core, it's probably more of a case of using um, a custom built website that you do yourself and then maybe making some API calls to Umbraco or something like that. So anyway, I hope that's uh, been beneficial to a few of you out there. Again, this YouTube channel is based on questions that you guys ask me. So if you've got a question you want answered, if you're stuck on a project for example and you need some architectural advice, if you're at your job, you hate your colleagues or you just want some um, ideas of how to go into contracting, anything like that, feel free to ask. Um, if you want to know how to ask a question, pretty simple. This is on YouTube or my website. Just ask in the comment section below. I'll see all the comments and the best ones I'll pick and answer them within the next couple of weeks. Otherwise, go onto my website. It's johndjones.com. So that's J-O-N-D-J-O-N-E-S dot com. If you hit the big green button at the top, it says contacts, click on there, there's a, uh, there's a form, submit that form, I'll answer your questions. So anyway, um, another update on this channel, I think we're near 50 people this week, um, 7 or 8 people have subscribed this week, so thanks a lot for that. I started this channel about 6 months ago, didn't think anyone was going to watch it, and now nearly having 50 people is a lot better than I ever thought I'd do. So um, let's keep going. Thanks very much for that. If you haven't subscribed and you want to become a legend today, this is your chance to become a legend and say that you're in at the beginning of something. Um, hit the subscribe button, um, I'd appreciate it. Also, if you like this content and you find it useful, if you hit like, all it means is other people are more likely to be able to find the video. So do that. And again, if you've got a question, ask on the comments or go over to my website. Um, the website, there's six, 700 tutorials on how to do everything with Umbraco, Sitecore, career advice, all that great stuff, and that's johndjones.com. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, I appreciate it, and have a great day.